everyone, it's Cindy A. Lewis, and tonight we are taking something that we have and creating it into something else. These two trays are from the Dollar Tree, and you've probably seen other videos on uh, creating chalk boards with them. And that's what we're going to do, because you can take these and make them into anything that you want. And I thought we could make these into chalk boards tonight because we have them, and we want to use the stash that we have since we can't really go shopping. So you could take just about any tray, but these are from the Dollar Tree. So the first thing that I wanna do is paint the chalkboard and then let that dry and then paint the white around it. So I'll cover the chalkboard so that it doesn't get white on it. So we're gonna do that first and then we're gonna come back and decorate it so that we can have something happy in our home this spring. just use acrylic paint and paint the outside edge of this oval shaped one. So what I did was this is all spray painted with the chalkboard paint and under here. So I covered it with paper and applied some painter's tape. Now I'm going to paint the outside edge with this white acrylic um, chalk paint that I had on hand. Okay guys, back to my dried chalkboards. I did paint one more. As you can see, I painted this one and I've been doing some stuff around here. It's got a little glitter on it, it'll come off. Anyway, so white uh, linen white paint or white chalk paint around the edges. This one I did a little bit with the uh, sandpaper just to kind of rough it up just a little, to, a little bit. So you can see that one. Then this one is the square one I started with. It has a little um, space on here that has some like dots or whatever. I don't know what caused that. So we're going to cover that up anyway. And then this one is the one that I fully covered. I wanted to show you how I uh, take it apart. I did do the second coat in this white with the spray paint because I wanted you to see the difference. So if you can see <clears throat> This one really, you can't see brush marks. This one you can a little bit. I used a foam brush, but you can do it either way. Now I'm gonna show you three different design things you can do with these little chalkboards. And these are trays from the Dollar Tree, like I said, and you can use really anything that you have. You could possibly even use a frame and remake it. But anyway, this one, I have some painter's tape on, so I'm just gonna pull that off so you can see where the uh, chalkboard is and it works really well to protect the surface um, so you don't get any spray paint on that. Now let's get decorating. So this one I'm going to decorate for Easter spring with a bunny and some eggs. This one I'm going to decorate for my gardening so help me know, like I can write on there what I planted or when I planted it and that kind of thing. And I'll show you what I what my idea is there. This one, I just have an idea. We can either do a menu board, which I could put each day's menu on here, or I could do an inspirational board. And every day, because right now we could use inspiration, uh, something to brighten our day or it could be used for chores, you know, put your child's name on there and the chore for the day, or you could use it for just anything. So I just want to give you some ideas. So let's get started with this one. Okay, for this one, I want to use some of these little mini foam eggs that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I purchased these last year and I have them on hand. So that's what I'm going to use and actually I want to use this set. I want to use one of these bunny picks that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Again, Dollar Tree. And I'm not going to tear that, so let's clip that. And then I'm going to use some flowers and a little greenery down here. I also have some little carrots from the Dollar Tree. I think that would be cute. And then this moss sheet is from the Dollar Tree and um, you can cut it. So we're gonna use that on here. Now this is chalkboard, 
so I can write on it with any of my uh, chalk, chalk, chalk pens, what, whatever you want to use. This is a chalk marker. This one is actually from the Dollar Tree. Writes really well. Okay, so let's get decorating. Okay, let me explain just a little bit. I took this moss sheet. I measured it and cut out a piece here. It could be, um, you could make it look more like grass if you want to, but I'm gonna put some things on in front of it. Then I took another piece and put it here so that I have some space, makes it more three dimensional. So next we're gonna create our flowers and eggs and bunny. Okay, so what I do is I lay out what I want it to look like before I uh, finish uh, gluing. Now I may put a bow or something up here, but right now this is kind of the idea I'm going with for my chalkboard and then I can write springtime or happy Easter or you know, find the eggs, whatever. Now I did take the eggs and I cut them in half so that they'll lay better. So I'm gonna glue these down so that you can see what it looks like. Decided I didn't want a bow, but since I made a beehive in another uh, in another one of my DIYs, I decided to go ahead and just put a little bee up at the top, and I think that's adorable. So I really like how this one turned out, and this one is my happy uh, spring, happy Easter, and these are little dogwoods, aren't they pretty? Those are from the Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just going to take my marker, and I'm going to... Um, Maybe I'll just draw a little flower here. And I'm not doing anything fancy, but just so you can see how it works. And you can use different colors. You don't have to use white. So I'm just gonna put um, happy And I'm gonna put um, Easter. Watch that ear, bunny. Easter. And so you can do whatever you want, but so that is number one. Let's make number two. Okay, next I wanna work on the square uh, platter that I painted for my chalkboard. I have a little pot hanger. I think it's called a flower pot hanger or hugger from the Dollar Tree. I had two. I have this one and a little turtle. Really like the, the um, frog. He's too cute. And he will eventually hang up here. Oop, there. Okay, so I'm going to take, my idea is, this is for my garden. So I'm going to say grow at the top and then I want to put like different seeds that I plant and when I planted them and that kind of thing. So I've got some more of this uh, moss that is from the Dollar Tree. See I'm using using the whole thing right? <clears throat> so I'm probably not going to use even the whole thing. But you can see it just about fits and that's really pretty good. So I'm going to cut it about this about an inch but I am going to make this look a little light grass. Okay, so save the little pieces in case you want to add them um, to the rest of your grass. I'm gonna put a little hot glue on here. And yes, the hot glue makes it permanent. If you're thinking you don't wanna do that, you sure don't have to. So I'm just gonna put that on there. All right, now, what I want to do is I found my seed packets, but can you see the problem? They're too big to fit on here. So my solution was make a copy of the front and the back and reduce the size. I reduced it to 50% on a piece of cardstock 
And then let me show you. I made little picks of my seeds, my seed packets. So I can put them here. Now I have one more and I took it and how I did that was I used a toothpick. Okay, you can use a toothpick or a shish kebab or skewer. I suggest the wooden. You could even use a popsicle stick to make your little, um, you know, your little post that you'd stick in the ground, you know, your little whatever. Okay, so how I made that was I told you that I shrunk these to 50% on my printer and then I have a little Zyron sticker maker and I'm just going to put that through here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Yep. All right. So let me cut this off. You can tear it as well. Okay, let me show you how I make it. You know, things just happen sometimes. All right. So you rub it, and I don't know how many of you have one of these, but they are really cool. All right, then I'm gonna pull this off. So what it does is it gives it adhesive all over the whole back of it so that it adheres really, really well. So I'm gonna take my toothpick and decide where I want it, just like that. And then I'm gonna take the back of my seed packet that I copied and I'm going to just try to line it up as good because this is permanent and it sticks really well. And if you don't get it just right, you can always trim it. All right, so see, I'm off a little bit. Anyway, I'm not all about perfect because it's not supposed to be perfect. All right, and then there's my little, my little pick to stick in the ground. So I'm going to glue these down and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but I did add a little of the, the different pieces that, um, you know, I cut. And that one's sticking down right there. And these are glued down now. I have an extra carrot, so I'm gonna just put it down here in the corner. But I'm gonna do that after I take a few little leaves to put on the edges. I'm just gonna glue those down to give it a little more realistic look. And these are actually from some of the, that um, amaranthus that I used in my wall, uh, kind of like a fence decoration. It really turned out cute too. And you can see that on another DIY video that I posted, which if you check Dollar Tree DIY playlist, you'll see a lot of videos. And I'm gonna take this one and glue it down right here. And then I'm gonna put a little more of the grass down there and I'm gonna stick the carrot here in the corner. Okay, I decided to go ahead and put carrots on the corners because this little guy is gonna hang here. Isn't that cute? So anyway, I'm gonna put here, I'm gonna put grow. I'm gonna take, this one is my chalk writer from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna write the word grow up here at the top. And I'm not measuring, I'm just grow. And then I'm gonna put like, whenever I do this plant these, I'm gonna put like the date that I planted them, like 331, um, 331. And then maybe next weekend, four, three, four, four, something like that. So I know when I planted what I planted. And then what I can also do is take this chalk writer and I can do like a vine like that. And I can do it all the way around. And then I can draw little leaves on it and just um, decorate it up. Now I could do this with any color. I don't have to do it um, with, well, I just went ahead and did a flower, but anyway, I mean, you can see, you can do whatever you want. Um, it's your world, you're creating it. And it doesn't have to be like anyone else's. You just do your own thing, right? Okay, so the last one, let me show you. 
Okay, this one may seem a little undecorated, but I'm really not wanting to fully decorate another one. I just want to use it um, for, say, you know, a message, inspirational message or something like that. So I have a chalk pencil. I have my chalk writer from the Dollar Tree and I have my Versa um, chalk marker. So I'm gonna actually use this one and I'm just gonna uh, decorate it up. So I'm just gonna do this like, like you've seen with other chalk and you can always erase it. It's got some glitter on it. And if you don't like the way you start something, then just start over, wipe it off, and start over. So I'm going to say you, you are my sunshine. And then if you want to do more, I mean, you could draw more, you could draw a sun, you could draw whatever you want. Um, if you don't like that, then you could, you know, it's great just to use it to do whatever you want. So if you wanted to say something else, so say you wanted to say what's for dinner and you want it to be a menu. So you could just do menu. Well, if you spell it right, you could. So let me wipe that off. Menu, and I could have bloopered this real, I'm telling you. Okay, so menu. And then you could just write down what's for dinner. So like um, spaghetti, if I can spell that right. Spaghetti, salad, and tea. And then you could just write the date. And then, you know, whatever you want to do. So, anyway, just making your own chalkboard. Really fun. I hope you enjoyed the, the decorated ones as well. Again, thank you for watching. And look how cute these little chalkboards turned out. I hope that you can make some, that you have something at home that you can make these with because... They are really, really cute and festive and will make you smile. And they're useful too. So anyway, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, share, and subscribe.